Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at what happens if you remove the hard drive from your computer while it is running. Now this is going to be the first video in my new series called What Happens If? So um, we're going to be doing videos like this. So we might do what happens if you remove the hard drive like we're doing today. You might do the same thing for RAM and then try a few other experiments and make sure you let me know in the comments below if there's some cool experiments you would like me to try. Now this will be an interesting test because there's a few predictions that I have about what may happen. So I reckon either the whole computer will just crash and shut off or maybe you might it might freeze on the screen that it's on now. So you can see it's running fully functional Windows 10 and maybe it might freeze on that screen um, but we'll just have to wait and see. So let's get straight into the experiment. So as you can see, I have my hard drive here in the computer. Um, we're running Windows 10 off it now, and it's plugged in with both the data and power cables. So um, we'll start off by removing the power cable first and leaving the data one in to see what happens if we do that. And then we'll reboot it and try it the other way around to see if there's any difference or if it's exactly the same. So I'll just show you that this is definitely fully functional windows it's all working like so no problems at all as you can see um the computer is working perfectly fine so now what we'll do is we will remove the power cable and see what happens so i'm just removing it now all right so the power cable has been removed and as you can see, the computer hasn't crashed yet and the mouse can still move. Although we're not seeing, we're not seeing too much happen right now. So we'll just see. Oh, I am starting to notice that the, it's not really responding. Oh, the computer looks like. It's sort of just in a frozen state. I'm trying to click on these. This taskbar is completely frozen by looks of things. And yeah, oh, okay. The mouse has just gotten really laggy. Okay, we've got the blue screen here and it's just turned itself off. And let's see what happened. Okay, yep, it says here that there is no operating system found. Um, and it says press any key to repeat, repeat the boot sequence. So as you can see, um, the drive has, um, the computer's no longer picking up the drive. So, um, and actually it's no longer spinning. I can feel cause there's no power cable in there. So it lasted probably about 10 or 20 seconds, but you couldn't actually do anything really on the computer and it slowly got worse before the system crashed and rebooted to this error. So now let's turn this off and now let's see what happens. I'll plug the drive back in and we'll see what happens this time if we try it the other way around. So this time we will be, um, we've got both of them plugged in again, but this time we will remove the data cable first and see if we get a different result. So I'll turn the computer back on and we'll just let it boot up. And it'll be interesting to see whether it's corrupted. It looks like it's still booting up fine. So it, it doesn't look like it's done any damage to the drive, which is good. Um, but we'll just let it boot up and see if we can still get into Windows 10. Okay, we've just gotten to the please wait screen. Uh, it's taking its time, but uh, it is a mechanical hard drive, so we can expect it to be a bit slower. Now we'll just log in and we'll just let it welcome us to the desktop and then we'll try the next part of this experiment.
And just before we do the next part, it is worth mentioning that this desktop that I'm conducting this experiment on is a Lenovo Finx M M series. So, but you can probably expect similar results if even if you're doing it on a laptop or a desktop or any model of your choice. All right, so as you can see, the desktop is now back into Windows 10. And just to confirm, the system is running fine. It's a little bit slow, but it is running as it should right now. So let's um, now try removing the data cable first. So we'll just slowly remove it. Okay, it's slowly sliding out now. But it's opened the date and time. I did click on that before, so it was a little bit slow. But the data cable has now been removed and you can see that the seconds have actually frozen. But we are still on the desktop screen, just to show you that there, it has been removed. We've only got the power cable in there. So now the system, once again, is doing something similar to before. I didn't click then, but that date and time thing's just gone away. So if I click on like something like Microsoft Edge, okay, we've got the blue screen once again. And let's see if it reboots into the same error. Okay, so yeah, you can see that it says the no operating system found. And yeah, so that's, that just proves that the hard drive is no longer functioning. So you can't just um, run one cable into it. It won't work. You need both of these cables. But let's just once again confirm that we haven't damaged the drive in the process. So I've just plugged the drive in. I felt it spin up and just make sure that Windows 10 is still running as it should. So we'll just check that it boots up. Okay, yep, so you can see it's booting into the Windows logo and it looks like it has survived the test. So that's good. And some conclusions we can draw from this. So it was interesting that the hard drive, when one of the cables were removed, it took a few seconds for the Windows operating system to actually completely crash. So for about 10 to 20 seconds on each test, it, you could still move the mouse around. Uh, you couldn't actually do anything with it, but you could still move the mouse and it still showed the desktop. Now the experience slowly got choppier as it went along. Now with that, the experience did slowly get worse as the longer the drive had been removed for, but um, there was obviously something in the computer that could keep the Windows screen that you're on running um, for a certain period of time, even though the hard drive wasn't actually fully connected to the computer. So that was an interesting conclusion to draw. So let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this first video of the What Happens If series. I'll hopefully be making some more in the near future. Uh, maybe one about removing RAM while it's running. And once again, let me know in the comments uh, any topics you would like to see on the What Happens If series. Thanks for watching this video on Unpack Technologies. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video.